How's it going guys? In this video is a free text pack that looks like this. It's called the Retro Stacked Animation Pack and check out how amazing it looks. In this new series called Freebies, I'm gonna give you a dope digital product for free that our team made at the beginning of the episode, and then I'm gonna spend the entire length of the episode telling you how to use it. If you wanna check out all the other episodes in the series, just check them out in the description below. Now let me show you how to use this pack. All right, go to the description, download the zipped folder, and then download the project file inside. First things first, in the retro stacked text effect project file, all you gotta do is click on the comp called place text here. Once you're inside that comp, you then go in, and I can then go in and actually pick whatever color I want to make it pink. I can pick the font, I can pick my text size, any other parameter that you'd normally pick, you can put it in there. And then the cool thing is, when you go to any other comp, for example, the master comp, all of the animations will then change to the word that you placed in the place text here comp. It's that easy. So we can go to any of these other individual comps, curved stacked, curved stacked faded out, curve stacked straight, straight stacked faded out. Look how beautiful these look. And you have your animated text automatically placed and created by just replacing the word in the place text here comp. That's that easy. And then you can go over and export. As far as exporting, as always, you gotta just click on file go to export, then go to add to render queue. And then in the render queue, you have all of these options. You're gonna click on output two, click on the blue right next to it to name the file, whatever you wanna name it. And then you can select the location that you wanna place it. We'll place it on the desktop, then do save. Then you go to output module, click on the blue right next to that. We're gonna click on QuickTime. Then we're gonna go to format options. Then for video codec, we're gonna do animation. Click okay. Then we're gonna to go to the channels, go to the drop down, go to RGB plus alpha. This is very important because this is what allows the exported video file to have transparency by clicking the RGB plus alpha. After that, you're gonna click okay. And then after that, you're gonna click render. If you liked this pack, check out this other free pack right here. 